What's up, everybody? I wanted to come to you with episode four of Olympia Building because I wanted to expound on something that I heard last week um, from Jerry Branham. He has a very good newsletter, phenomenal podcast, and he also does weekly uploads regarding bodybuilding and minerals and supplements for Generation Iron and or bodybuilding.com. And what he brought up was a forgotten mineral. And that mineral is zinc. Well, I want to kind of go off to the left a little bit about that because we look for sources of zinc instead of just zinc supplements. And it came through to me regarding a meal or a food source, for you know, lack of a better word. When I was growing up, there was a cartoon with a young man, Popeye the Sailor Man. He spoke about he was strong to the finish because he ate his spinach. Zinc itself is an anabolic mineral. Generally, when we hear the terms anabolic, we're thinking about a state that our body wants to be in because it synthesizes more protein and allows us to get bigger and stronger. But when we're talking about the uh, fact that there's a plant that's available to us that gives us that same property because of the mineral that we're speaking about, and it's kind of overlooked, and the reason why it's overlooked are profound to me so here's my two cents and take on that I reviewed a study of 26 foods that are high in zinc and guess what number one on that list is spinach Jerry spoke about the clinical dosage or effective dosages for zinc is anywhere between 5 to 10 milligrams per day well, the great thing about that, the question was asked, how much spinach do you need to eat in order for it to be anabolic or have a steroid-like effect? Well, we know that per 100 grams, you're getting 5.3 milligrams of zinc. If we know that the effective dosage is, is five and above, then we're looking at pretty much 1,000 grams. So, in order to eat a thousand grams per day, you're looking at a little more than four cups of spinach per day. Now you think, now that's a lot of spinach. When you sit down and you actually start to think about it, how it can be broken up, you can eat a half a cup for breakfast with your eggs, eat another cup and a half or even two cups for lunch with walnuts and maybe some um, onions or something, and a salad with lemon squeezed across it. And then you actually have another cup and a half for dinner later. So if you can break it up into smaller piece portions, knowing that four cups or a little more than four cups is what you're aiming for, that's gonna get you your five milligrams per day, then it offers you an avenue to where this is now plausible. So to wrap this up real quick, we're looking at five to 10 milligrams of spinach, or excuse me, of zinc per day that allows your body to get into an anabolic state or steroid-like state because you're gonna increase your protein synthesis five to 10 fold just by eating properly on a daily basis. So remember what my guy said, be strong to the finish and eat your spinach. <laughs> Till next time. I may the same the man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat my spinach. I'm not by the same the man. <laughs>